The presidential ambition of the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and the National Leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has brought out the divisions among governors, leaders, and other stakeholders in the Southwest Geopolitical Zone. Usibanjo, who served as Lagos State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice for eight years during the reign of Tinubu as governor, declared his intention to succeed President Mohamed Buhari in 2023. Tinubu had in January this year formally declared his intentions to run for the presidency in 2023. It is unclear if the ruling party had zoned the presidency to the South, particularly the Southwest, as other aspirants have also indicated interest. Although the official spokesperson for Usibanjo and Tinubu declined comments, Daily Trust gathered that the two leaders are ready to slug it out at the primaries. A chieftain of the party in Lagos State said Usibanjo's declaration did not come as a surprise to Tinubu, whom the VP had allegedly informed earlier. Meanwhile, the Pan Yoruba Social Cultural Organization, Afenefere, had said that it is not supporting either of the candidates at the moment. Spokesman for the group, Comrade Jari Ajaye, said the group does not have any candidate at the moment, saying, I'm sure other people who are of Yoruba extraction will come out. However, Daily Trust learned that the declaration by Osibanjo has unsettled the permutation of the Southwest presenting a single candidate at the party's presidential primary anytime from now. Five of the six states in the geopolitical zone are led by the APC. Informed sources disclosed that the governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sanwonlu, and his counterpart in Oshun, Isiaka Oyitola, are supporting Tinubu, who they consider as their benefactor. Governor Dakpo Abiodun of Ogun State is said to be in dilemma, while the rumored presidential ambition of Fayemi is holding party chieftains in Ekiti from making a choice. Governor Rotimi Akeredolo is said to be leaning towards VP Osibanjo. Tinubu, who has remained the political godfather of Lagos State, supported Samuel Lu against the then incumbent governor, Akinwumi Ambode, who was seeking re election in 2019. The governor had openly declared his support for Tinubu and had been at the forefront of conversing and mobilizing support for the Jagaban of Bugu. Last year, he spearheaded the launch of a campaign group, Southwest Agenda for Asiwaju Swaga 2023, in the state. A political chieftain in the state noted that San Wanlu needs Tinubu for his second term ticket more than Tinubu needs him to achieve his ambition. He dares not speak against Tinubu's ambition. APC chairman in Lagos, Pastor Cornelius Ojelabi, and the publicity secretary, Sheyi Oladejo, did not respond to calls put across to their lines. However, Oladejo, in an earlier interview with Daily Trust, declared that Asewaju's decision to run is an opportunity for all of us who are beneficiaries of Asewaju's goodwill and large-heartedness, including the VP, to pay back and appreciate Asewaju for being such a man of honor and destiny helper for a whole lot of people. A former spokesman for Lagos APC, Joe Igbokwe, in a veiled post on Facebook, urge Osibanjo to step down from the race. Let me drop it here for history and posterity. If you are one of the people Asewaju raised up and you are eyeing the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, show respect and withdraw from the race. Oyetola, who is Tinubu's cousin, enjoyed the support of the former Lagos State Governor against his predecessor Raof Aregbesola, a development that led to the split of the party in Oshun State. From all indications, the camp loyal to Yetola is promoting Tinubu's presidential ambition. The Commissioner for Information in the state, Mrs. Funke Agbemode, declined to comment on Yetola's choice between Tinubu and Usibanjo. The chairman of the party in the state, Prince Goyega Famodun, also refused to comment on the 2023 election, insisting that the July 16 governorship election in the state is his focus at the moment. Meanwhile, there are indications that the Minister of Interior and former Governor of Oshun State, Aregbe Shola, is supporting the presidential ambition of the Vice President. Aregbe Shola's relationship with Tinubu deteriorated owing to the backing of Oyetola by the former Lagos State Governor. Aregbe Shola's supporters are openly displaying their support for Sibanjo to become the next president. 
However, Aragbe Solas Media Advisor Shola Fashure said the former Lagos State Commissioner of Works has not announced his position concerning the 2023 presidential election. What you observe that his supporters are doing is within their democratic rights as individuals, he said. Governor Dakwa Abiodun of Ogun State, Daily Trust Lands, is exercising caution in pitching his tent between the two leaders. Although a registered voter in Lagos State, Usibanjo is from Ogun State, while his wife, Dalakbo, is the granddaughter of the first premier of the Western region, Obafemi Awolowo. Daily Trust reports that both Osibanjo and Tinubu were instrumental to Abiodun's victory when he battled former Governor Abinkule Amosun's anointed candidate, Abdukabi Akinlande, in the last election. The publicity director of Ondo APC, Steve Ato Loro, told Daily Trust that the party is here to decide on who to support. His counterpart in Ekiti, Mr. Shegun Dipe, said the state chapter is not supporting either candidate for now. A public affairs analyst in Ekiti, Raymond Ogunleye, said Osibanjo has the constitutional right to contest. People should stop castigating Osibanjo because he declared, I've seen funny comments that this is the week that Judas betrayed Jesus. Anyone that loses should support the other, he said. The immediate past minister of communications and the chieftain of APC in Oyo Barista, Adebayo Chitu, called on the leadership of the party to allow for free and fair primaries in determining its presidential candidates. He said, the issue of our party is beyond the issues of whether to support Tinubu or Sibanjo. We should find out if the ticket has been zoned to the south, most especially the southwest, for us to pick one of the interested candidates. Recall that Tosibanjo formally declared his intention to succeed President Mohamed Buhari via a video post to his social media handles. The vice president said he wanted to use his experiences, insights, and opportunities in the last seven years for the country and its great people. Tosibanjo said he and President Mohamed Buhari, whom he described as a true Nigerian patriot, a servant of the nation in war and peace, and a man of integrity, spent the last seven years working through some of the most difficult times in the history of the country, focusing on sec securing the country, providing infrastructure, and growing its economy. He said, In this period of seven years, I have served the government in several capacities, and I have, the, and I have at the direction of Mr. President, represented our country in sensitive high-level international engagements. I've been to practically all local governments in Nigeria. I've been in the markets, factories, schools, and farms. I've been in agriculture, mining, oil producing communities in Delta, in Kebi, Enugu, Bonu, Rivers, Plateau, and Ondo, and in all other states of the Federation, listening to all the diverse experiences and yearnings of our people. This is why I am today, with utmost humility, formally declaring my intention to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the platform of our great party, the All Progressive Congress, APC.